Dude, have you been seeing this Osimile stuff go on? Is that, uh, is that uh, how you say uh, his name? Uh, yes. Osimile? Uh, Kalichi Osimile. Kalichi Osimile from the Jets. I believe that's how you say it. <laughs> okay. I, it sounds solid. Yeah. We'll go with that. Yeah. Have you been seeing what's going on with that? I have seen it, but I didn't pay attention to it as much. But from what I've seen, it's a crazy deal. It's what is it? He was a starter, right? Yes. He was one of their starters. Yes. And he's saying that he injured his shoulder. Yes. They, the team, the Jets, said it's not terrible. Right. You, you, you don't need surgery. Right. We can get you back out there and you can play on it. Right. And he was saying, no, I can't. My shoulder's, my shoulder's up. bad. Yes. My shoulder's messed up. I do need surgery. Right. And they're like, we're not going to pay for your surgery. Exactly. And he, did you see what came out today? I did not see. By the time this comes out, I mean it'll be you know mm. it'll be past tense. But yeah, yeah. What came out today is he got surgery and it was way more extensive. It was way worse in the operation than what was previously said. So to his point, he was saying it was bad. I need surgery, and yeah. the team was saying no. He's good. Um, yeah, you're good. Yeah. It's not that bad. They went in and operated yeah. on it, and it and came out like to be way worse. It came out to be worse than what it was. So now wow. I think they're taking like legal action to like sue the Jets. Yeah. Is that correct? Oh, they cut him. They cut Kalichi. Think now they're going to take like legal action on that. I mean, that's that's a, a, that's terrible. Do you see you see stuff like this go on in, since you've I, been at Tampa I, I have with this guys? Is the first, this is the first time I ever seen something so, like that. So even on Tampa, you've I, never seen a situation where a guy's like, "I think I'm hurt worse than I am," and the team's like, "No, it's not. It's not as bad as what you think." I thinking. haven't. I haven't because I've, I've been around guys who's more professional. I mean, guess professional, and they go get a second opinion to really make sure if that's the situation. But that's what they're saying. Osimile, they're saying that he the second opinion when they got it they were arguing saying it still wasn't that bad they weren't going to pay for the surgery oh well no nah, i never seen nothing like that you always go with the second opinion in my mind i never seen I well never yeah because at the end of the day the trainers have the trainers have the best in mind for the athlete but at the same time with the logo Organ behind them exactly with the organization they're loyal to the organization right and what you see a lot of the times yeah. is like sometimes i've had injuries and i don't want to disclose them to the team yeah but i'll get my second opinion i'll consult with my doctor Before. away from the facility yeah or i'll be like, hey i'm feeling this i'll get on the phone with him yeah and i'll try to talk to him yeah. my second opinion before i want to tell the, the team, team because yeah. you don't know what the team might do right, with you right right i mean i guess it's depend on the organization man it's Honestly, it's like, who are you dealing with? You know, if the people are good, genuine people, they should be real with you, you know? Right? Yeah. Have so, you ever went through any of that where you got to lean on your second opinion more than you I do have. the team? I actually went through that this year. And then uh, it came out the same thing, what they said and what my second opinion said. So I went with that. Right, right. Yeah. That was the same with me on the Saints. Yeah. They kind of diagnosed my low sprained ankle, right. and then you get your second opinion, right. and they said the same thing. Same thing. So. But you've had – I've seen situations where – we're vets now, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. And you're in training camp, and you see these young guys. Yeah. And 53 make the roster out of 90. You have 90 guys on a team going into camp. They cut it down to 53 at the Correct. end of camp, at yeah. the end of training camp, at the end of preseason. And so I like to say the guys from 53 to 90, that's just how we will refer to them as. Guys that are in that 53 to 90 that are probably going to get cut. Yeah. Right? Yeah. And say they get injured in preseason. You know, God uh, God bless them, dude. Like, everybody's brainwashed. They want to make the NFL. It's their dream. When I was on, when I was a rookie and I hurt my hamstring, I didn't want to tell anybody anything. True. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. It, it was emotional. I wanted, I didn't want the team to know. I kind of yeah. told a side, a side trainer yeah. that I felt an like intern. was my Mark Meyer. Yeah, yeah. Like an intern yeah. or an assistant. Yeah. And I'm like kind of telling him and I'm like, Hey, just basically duct tape it just yeah. in a nutshell. Obviously there's a lot more into yeah. it than duct taping just it. Do but a it little like, something to it. Yeah. Do it to where back. I can play. Yeah. And that's how guys are because yeah. their dream is to make the NFL. Right, right, right. And I tell those guys if they get injured and they think it's bad enough to get surgery, mm -hmm. get don't put your ass on the field and right. put your ass at risk. You can't. Put your ass at risk. You can't. Yeah. Because say if you have like let's just say they'll assimilate, and I'm not saying this is what happened, but let's just say you have a situation like him. You tear your shoulder, yeah. you feel like you have something wrong yeah. mechanically. The minute that the team might know on your MRI that you have a tear in your labrum. But mm -hmm. a tear is also, it can be a strain or a sprain. It's basically tearing of your ligament. Yeah. If you have, if they know you have a tear, right? But they might just tell you, hey, you just sprained your you just shoulder. sprained it, yeah. And yeah. in your mind, you're like, oh, you know, I'm not a bitch. I'm not a pussy. <laughs> I'll, I'm going to do what I can, you know, because that's, that's the game we play. Yeah. yeah. I'm going to go out there on the field. The minute you step on the field, if you're part of that 53 to 90 and you're not in those future plans. And you don't play. And they know that they're probably going to cut you. Yeah, and you don't right. play. Yeah. The minute you step out there and practice, right. they can cut you. Yeah. That's how Adam Hayward got done. He got his knee cleared, yeah. was get, trying to get ready to yeah. go for training camp. He was yeah. going into year 10. My boy, shout out to your boy too. Yeah. Once he got cleared, within 10 minutes, they okay. sent him up 
to the front. They, they're like, hey, go upstairs. They want to talk to you. Turn in your iPad. They cut right, him right, right. right before training camp. Yeah. Right before it started, dude. Yeah. And his knee wasn't even fully healthy. And, you know, it, it probably should have been. Mm. We talked when we were training. Yeah. In my mind, it was like your knee probably should be farther along right. than what it is. Right. But if you tell them you're fine, you're fine. and they clear yeah. you and you sign something, the minute yeah. you step out there, they can cut you. Can cut so I would tell guys, young yeah. guys, hey, listen, man, don't be a hero. Yeah. Being honorable is fucking, uh, that's awesome. You should be honorable. Like, yeah. If you feel like going out the honorable way, yeah. that's great. But it's not going to get It's not gonna get you paid. It's not yeah. going to get you any it's money. Not, you're going to get cut. They don't care about that. They don't care about you, yeah. dude. I tell guys, I'm like, if you feel like you need surgery, listen, don't be a fucking hero. Get a second opinion. Yeah. And if that second opinion says you need surgery, lean on that opinion. Yeah. You don't want to risk it. They mess it up even worse. And obviously risk your chances of playing football again. Yeah. If you're like undrafted, that yeah. might be the only chance you have to make any kind of money from the NFL. True. If you say you go out the honorable way, you get cut, you never get called again, you never see a dime, yeah. your injury is worse than what it is, and yeah. nobody paid for your surgery, you're right. going to have to pay for it on your own yeah. because you don't have the insurance with the NFL have, right. until you make the team Yeah. versus if you do need to take care of it. And, you know, guys might think you might be softer or pussy yeah. from it, but in your mind you're like, I need to get this done because guys thing. battle with that. Yeah. You, I'm worried about, hey, what's Levante think of me if yeah. I go down this road and get surgery? Right. And we know I might be able to play on it. But if they pay for your surgery, mm -hmm. you go on IR, mm -hmm. you get a split in your contract. So if you're a rookie, you go from like $450,000 to yeah. like 270 or yeah. 280, 300, whatever. Yeah. You make that. Right. You get accredited season. You get an accrued season toward your benefits. Yeah. You get to come back healthy. Yeah. You get to put it into your 401k. Yeah. You get to come back healthy. You yeah. get to be in a OTAs the next year. Yeah. You're not sitting at home cut. Exactly. It's a slippery situation, it's, dude. Yes, it's very slippery, man. It's 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 risky, but at the same time, you gotta be smart about it.